right? I had, when I was trading, when I started making serious money, my drop dead with my trading firm. We had a risk manager too. This makes the story even more upsetting. My drop dead was $100,000, right? So I could trade as much as I want. I could trade up to 3,000 contracts, but if I had $100,000 $100, loss, done for the day, done for the day, right? Well, there were, or not 300, sorry, 100, 100 grand. So there would be some days I'd hit it, <clears throat> they shut me off. I go to click on my stuff. This is what your should broker should do. You go to click on it, nothing happens, right? Um, so then I just have to, I'd be done. And I go home, I, you know, get my mind straight. And, and so many times I would just, I'd go home and I wake up the next morning and I'd be like, what in the hell was I thinking? Like, what was I doing there? Thank God I got stopped out. You know, they, they only cost me a hundred grand. Well, it got to the point when I started making serious money, like millions, where I could basically tell them what I wanted to do, right? I was the big trader of the firm. I could say whatever I, I made. So I would call them up. I'd go take a walk. I'd come back. I'd be like, okay, I settled down. Give me another hundred grand. If I lose that, I'm done for the day. So then that, that was a routine for a while. Then it got to the point where I would go down a hundred grand. I'd have a trade on. I'd have like, you know, 1,500 contracts and it would be ripping in my face. I'd be down $180,000 and they would, now they'd just make a phone call. And they'd be like, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Just leave me alone. Hang up. And they let me go, right? So not only could I not stop myself because I was so pissed off, that's what I was trying to explain to yourself, but explain to you guys, everyone has a plan and they get punched in the mouth. Yeah, when I'm when I'm like this, and I'm perfectly sane and, and calm. I can say, oh yeah, I, I'm going to lose 100 grand. If I'm done, if I hit that, I'm done for the day. Most people can't do that, especially if they're pissed off, right? So it got to the point where they would not stop me and I had literally, literally two different days. I probably have these on tape. I don't even want to find them, but I'll play them for you maybe one day for comedy for you. It won't be some comedy for me. It's when you hear the amounts. But the first day, the first time it happened, they called me, done 100 grand. Just, I got it. Hang up. I lost $800,000 in literally about 12 minutes. To the day, one month later, to the day, both, and what's so funny about both of these days, they're both on a Friday, both of them I was leaving for a wedding, both times, I can remember distinctly, this was like 2004. Very next month to the day, it was a Friday, lost another $800,000, same exact scenario. You'd think my firm would have learned the first time. So I lost $1.6 million on those two, two days when I should have only lost $200,000. That is $1.4 million more I should have in my bank account. I don't know about you, but I, I can use another $1.4 million in my bank account, right? This is sickening. That makes me sad. That makes me mad. I'm telling you guys this so you learn from my pain. That's why I have the trade room. Learn from my 25 years of, of pain and, and good, obviously, but pain so you don't have to have that happen to you because it will happen. Not that you're going to lose $800,000, but you're going to blow out an account if you don't have things in place, you know, before before is the fan, part of my language, right? So I'm telling you, if there's one thing you take from this webinar, it's you win. Get off this webinar and call your broker if you're trading real money and say, put me, stop me out at 6% of my account or give them a monetary value. So $1.4 million, if I just would have stopped at 200 grand, I would have more on my, on my account. And so that year, I still ended up making one, what was it, one point? I think it was 1.4 actually. So I would have made 3 million bucks instead of 1.4, just because of two days that I didn't follow my damn rules, right? Please, I'm begging you, it's gonna happen if you do not have something in place. It will, without a doubt. Unless you're, again, if you're a Buddhist Zen on here, I'd like to meet you. But other than that, it's very likely that's gonna happen to you too. So it's all relative, but you're gonna lose your mind at some point because it gets, it feels very personal. I mean, I complain all the time. I've been doing this for 20 plus years and I still feel like I'm being manipulated because I am. You are. That's why I've been telling you guys this whole webinar. One, you have to condition yourself to that, but then you have to have stops, stop gaps in place where you, when you lose your mind, you're, you're not blowing out your accounts.